local people, important issues. CBS 10 WILM's weekly focus on the Lower Cape Fear region. This is Byline Wilmington with your host, Don Enzel. Welcome. Well, this morning uh, we take a look inside Wilmington's high profile and somewhat uh, controversial convention center project, how it's going, the progress, the story on the yet-to-be-built hotel and more with our guest, the GM of the Wilmington Convention Center, Susan Eaton. We were sharing that uh, we both lived in Knoxville at one point. We did. Lives. I just came from there. I lived there for 10 years. Yeah. And, uh, worked How, the you've been here since? Uh, November 1. Mm -hmm. And th you have kind of an interesting chain uh, of command. You work for a management firm yes. uh, that was hired by the city to run the convention center. Mm -hmm. uh, how did that process unfold for you? How did how'd you get the job? Well, uh, for me, um, I have worked for SMG, which is uh, a the management company. firm. Yes, and SMG Corporation, uh, based out of uh, Philadelphia. And I've worked for them for a total of 17 years in uh, two other properties. One was my, the Miami Beach Convention Center, and the other was Knoxville. So did you have to be interviewed by the city? I did. Yeah. I did. I was, they had to approve the yes, hire. Yes, I, I, uh, we had an interview process, and uh, it was pretty exciting. So, but this has been your sort of career path? Yes, this is my 25th year in the, co the convention center industry, and this is my fifth convention center. So I've uh, probably seen everything, I would say. And as they'd say in the industry, I've seen a lot. <laughs> did, they, uh, did SMG come to you and say, hey, we got this deal going in Wilmington, you interested? Uh, absolutely. Um, I, uh, I think what SMG has tried to find the right matchup of skills for the, for the right location, and, uh, and I'm I feel confident that we've made the right choice here. <laughs> I remember when I first moved to Wilmington 30-some years ago, I said I was moving to Wilmington. So people said, why are you going to Delaware? Oh. They've never heard of Wilmington. Oh, dear. D did you know? Oh, absolutely. Wilmington, um, North Carolina? Yes. Uh, I've been sort of, was sort of following the project. We, SMG's been involved with the city in this project for a, a couple of years at least and uh, on consulting, uh, on design issues and so forth and so it was one of those cities that was on my radar screen due to the proximity to the ocean of course. <laughs> so how big a challenge is booking a convention center of this size uh, in a city like Wilmington? Well um, every city that I've worked in offers different sets of challenges but um, the challenge that we uh, that we have here is um, uh, probably the hotel block of rooms that's in our, our downtown area. Um, it would, it, folks generally like, convention groups generally like close proximity, walking distance hotels or adjacent. And um, that would be one challenge that I would I'd identify that has been pointed out to us by some of the groups that we solicit. Um, the building itself is just beautiful, and we do get a lot of comments on that. LS3P did a wonderful job, as, do, as are the contractors working on it, and the city's done a good job in, in overseeing the entire project. So um, uh, I'm pleased with what meeting planners and, and, of course, local visitors will see once the building is open. Which is January, right? Uh, the Official grand opening uh, celebration is in mid-January, right. uh, January 13th through the 15th, and we'll have some uh, some events in November, and December, um, large and small, um, open to the public. So, oh, really? Folks will get a chance to now, you've already see the building. Booked a, a, a number of groups for the facility. Mm -hmm. how, do you have a number? How many books? How many um, books Actual contracts is approximately 22 uh, contracts. That includes convention bookings as well as uh, banquet bookings and consumer shows. Um, those are shows that are open to the public. And um, we have probably about now, um, we probably have about over 50 tentatives. Um, and Is that good? For, uh, I oh, mean, I have no idea. Yes. That's really um, good. Uh, we have had approximately, the, the Bureau is approximately focused on the building 
booking it for about a year now um, thus far, and, and we have about three to four months to, to really go. And, um, now, have you booked any actual conventions? Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. What, are the si what are the size of the groups that you've uh, well, done so Well, the conventions, far? Um, in terms of hotel room blocks, um, on a peak night, for instance, those will be approximately anywhere from three to 420 room nights on a peak night. And so that might utilize some of the close proximity hotels as well as some of the um, hotels in the college uh, road area, uh, Market Street and so forth, and then also ones on the, on the beaches. But, but the, the lack of an adjacent hotel at this point uh, is an issue in selling the center? Uh, it is an issue for some groups. Um, there are some groups that uh, don't if if we did have a hotel, we it would enable us to book larger groups. Um, the bureau and the convention center are working on. Uh, we have about eight, uh, seven or eight in the in the waiting uh, period. Uh, I should in the, in the in a folder that would uh, definitely book with us if, if you, this if hotel was um, was open, up and running. Yeah, or if it was. So on how do its you way. finesse? How do you finesse that issue? when you pitch a potential client? Uh, well, um, I have always, um, I have always uh, sort of believed that you have to sell what you, you have to sell what you've got. Um, it's good philosophy. <laughs> you, you can't, it is um, always good to um, hope that, hope that uh, all the pieces will fall into place. Um, I think if, um, uh, you know, the city is working diligently on uh, the hotel piece adjacent to the convention center, and um, I hope that that will uh, happen in the near future to um, uh, economy plays into that a lot. Um, and is it so unusual forth. not to have an adjoining hotel for a facility of this size? Um, it depends upon the market. Um, usually there's a, a hotel in close proximity, which we do have here uh, in Wilmington, and um, we have a couple of hotels. One With that is the right Hilton next door. and the Best Western, uh, Best Western are the closest. The Coastline Inn is how locals refer to it. Yeah, uh, well, the Best Western is actually the hotel property right. that's adjacent. Um, and, and between uh, those uh, two properties, and the, the Hilton also manages a uh, uh, suite property across the street from their property. So we have over 350 rooms that we can offer on a, on a, a peak block. So the majority of the conventions, whether regionally or staying state, can, the majority of them can be accommodated in our in our situation, We're going to utilizing take the convention center with meeting space, banquet space, and exhibit space. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. More with the uh, GM of the new Wilmington Convention Center, Susan Eaton. When we come back, we'll talk about profitability. How profitable are uh, our centers of this size? Stay with us.